How you feel, man? All right. White guy giving me the peace sign. Good to see you. Hey, uh, thank you all for coming out. I'm, uh, I'm glad you're here. The economy's awful, isn't it? You know what drives me crazy about the economy is when they talk about it on the news, they act like everybody's rich. You notice that? Well, it'll be like global economic meltdown. <laughs> is your money safe? What do you mean, the $43 I have in my checking account? <laughs> it should be okay. Thank you. <laughs> then you turn the channel and they're like, has the value of your property gone down? Huh. <laughs> I don't know. Let me ask my goddamn landlord. <laughs> you know what the worst part of having a landlord is? People think it's the money. It's so not the money. Worst part of having a landlord is having to call the landlord Landlord. <laughs> it's a bit of an exaggerated title, isn't it? For a guy who rents out rooms to strangers for money? <laughs> Landlord? Like there's something medieval about the whole thing? <laughs> Whenever I see my landlord now just to mess with them, I'm always like, my lord. <laughs> my lord, I come to thee from the kingdom of apartment 4J. <laughs> My lord, if you wouldn't mind taking off your cape, I need you to unclog my toilet. <laughs> yeah. I watch the news a lot, too much. Uh, yeah, the news. Um, <laughs> CNN is my network, because CNN, even when it's bad news, it's kind of good on CNN. But you know who's got the saddest news on earth? You ever accidentally watch that British news? You know what I'm talking about? That BBC news? Those sad-ass British accents on there? Just the way they pronounce countries on there bums me out, like Afghanistan. Ugh. <laughs> Like, they could make any news story sound sad on the BBC. Like, today, packs of wood nymphs travel the hillsides of New Jersey, handing out chocolate chip cookies and <laughs> jobs. <laughs> we gotta stay out of New Jersey, Jesus. <laughs> A lot of time on the internet as well. I heard about this website recently called, uh, called It Gets Better. You guys know what this is? All right, if you don't know what it is, it's a website uh, where gay teenagers that are getting bullied by Tracy Morgan, kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you, I'm kidding. No, gay teenagers that are getting bullied at school then go online and adult gay celebrities will have videos for them going like, hey, I know you're getting bullied now, but just so you know, it gets better. Which sounds nice, but it's actually just some empty Hollywood stuff. Because oh, if I was one of the gay kids, they'd be like, so celebrity, you can't help me today? <laughs> Celebrities are like, today? No, we're afraid of the bullies as well. But best of luck to you. <laughs> you know what website would be way more effective than It Gets Better? Website called It Gets Worse. <laughs> Where all the people that were super popular in high school had to leave videos about what losers they became later on in life. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> yeah. Actually, wait, they have that. It's called Facebook. Bang! <laughs> Bang! <laughs> so the, uh, there was some music award show recently. The Songies or something. Um, I'm so, are you not sick of these music shows? These awards shows? Like, there's like no good songs. Then they're just giving them awards. Like, let's give Neo a prize. Let's not. Um, <laughs> So, so uh, you know what else drives me crazy about it? Remember when people used to just do their songs in these shows and get off stage, but that's not enough for these egomaniacs? Now that the show was how hard they worked, so like Usher will finish his song and everyone's applauding and instead of getting off stage, Usher stands there and does this. <sighs> <laughs> it's like Usher, you lip synced a song, you didn't witness a murder. Get off stage. <laughs> yeah. Fellas, nobody, no, fellas, no woman on earth wants to look at her phone and see a picture 
of your dick. Yeah. 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 Ever. Our bodies are disgusting. They're not made to be photographed. That's what women's bodies are. Women's bodies are beautiful. They got curves and padding in their own cafeteria. They have a lot happening. Our bodies are not made to attract women. Our bodies are made to see attractive women, chase them down with our superior speed, <laughs> subdue them with our superior strength, try to make a baby. There we go. Uh, 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 uh. This is the face I make. Uh, uh, I love you. So, uh, so I'm single. <laughs> no, I'm single. So girls will send me pictures of their boobs sometimes, and it's the best. It's the best. That never happens to my married guy friends. I shouldn't say it never happens. My married guy friends, their wives will send them pictures of their boobs, but it's always with a note that says, like, I think my rash is back. <laughs> so girls will send me pictures of their boobs, and then I gotta send something back, and this is about all we have to send. So, but fellas, women don't want that. They, so put something in the frame if you're gonna take a picture of it that women actually like. Put like a scented candle down there. <laughs> or like a gift certificate for Sephora. <laughs> yeah. Or like a bigger dick, something. <laughs> Women are sensual creatures, you understand me? So, so they, they don't want the organ. They want a hint of sexuality, fellas. So if you got abs, take a picture of your abs. You know what else women like? Women like this thing, whatever this is, the ramp. Yeah, the on-ramp to Dick City. For the black girls, the D'Angelo muscle. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, this is romantic. This is like the notebook. This is a walk to remember. This is Alien 3. We live in a porny-ass world, don't we? It just gets pornier by the day. Hey, by the way, if you work in porn, I don't know if you and your co-workers know this, but we have enough porn. You don't have to keep making it. You did a great job, we appreciate your service, but you can shut it down. If you make porn or if you make those croc shoes, we're good. <laughs> porn used to amaze me. I'd be like, how'd they get that man and that lady to have sex at that bakery? But now the older I get, the more I realize men and women having sex is the easy part of relationships. You know what's like a fantasy to me now? You know what would be porn to me today? Just video of a man and a woman getting along. <laughs> Like, wait, he has to work late and she's not gonna take it personally? Oh, that's hot. <laughs> wait, they went to a party together and they wanna leave at the same exact time? Oh my God, where they find these people? <laughs> wait, she wants to talk about the new duvet cover? He doesn't give a crap and she doesn't give a crap that he doesn't give a crap? Oh, that's gonna make me finish. <laughs> So we, we, we want you, ladies, and we want you, and we don't know how to get you. We used to just be able to chase you down and grab you, but that made that illegal like 10,000 years ago. <laughs> yeah, so now we gotta be romantic. We don't know anything about that. That's like, so we, and there's no end in the amount of romance we're supposed to give you ladies, because like, we'll take you out to dinner, right? We're gonna pay, which for a guy is like insanely romantic. But it's not enough. You know, I know it's not enough because they always let that lady into the restaurant. What lady? Creepiest lady on earth. Goddamn flower lady. <laughs> Is there anyone worse than that woman? Whenever I say, I'm like, who let her in here? <laughs> Process for the lady. Ah, 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 uh, 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 uh. Do women even want the roses at the restaurant? 
No, a lot of no's. You know why, fellas? Because the roses are too convenient. <laughs> yeah, women only like presents if they're super inconvenient to get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Women want us to wait in line for six hours or like drive to the next state. They just want a story they can tell their girlfriends at brunch about how much we suffered for them. Like, oh, you don't know about these earrings? These are the earrings that when Mike got them for me, he fell on the escalator and lost part of his hand. I don't even like the earrings, but I like that Mike was legally dead for two minutes today. You know? it's, it's such a one-way street. That's the thing. Some make real sensitive to guys issues. Uh, the la like, one part of the year is just about giving presents to women. Between Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day, every commercial on TV is about giving presents to women. Give her a December to remember. <laughs> a diamond is forever. Merry kiss begins with K. <laughs> you know why all the commercials are for women? Because you can't advertise what guys want. Yeah. Yeah. Like, legally, you're not allowed. <laughs> You'll never see a commercial like, ladies, this holiday season, give him the gift he's been waiting for all year. A day of silence followed by a three-way with you and your hottest friend. <laughs> followed by more silence. Only from J.C. Penny. <laughs> like, it's not that we don't want to talk to you. We don't want to talk to anyone. We don't want to talk to our guy friends. Not about anything real or emotional. What do you think sports are for? They're completely meaningless. Football's meaningless. Football sounds like it's invented by an eight-year-old girl. Like, all right, here's the deal. There's a ball, and you get four tries to take the ball 10 yards. In between each try, we're gonna have a huddle. We're gonna tell secrets about the other team. <laughs> By the way, we're all wearing capri pants. <laughs> At halftime, the black eyed peas are gonna play. <laughs> I don't know what we would wanna talk to us about. We're jerks. Guys are jerks. You wanna know what guys are really like? Look what we're doing when there's no women around when it's all guys. It's just a lot of slapping each other and insulting each other's appearance and trying to injure one another's testicles. <laughs> women are nice. Look at men's surprises, look at women's surprises. Women's surprises are nice. Women's surprises are like, today was Jill's birthday and we all pretended like we forgot. And then at 4.30, we were having cupcakes and she was so surprised. <laughs> and a guy's surprise is like, Jill wasn't paying attention so he lit his back on fire. <laughs> And then we found out it was his birthday, we set his car on fire too. <laughs> he was really surprised. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, where are we on Obama? We like him? <laughs> you vote for him, brother? You voted for him? Yeah. Bro, you vote for him? Yeah. Every brother I know voted for him. <laughs> Did brothers even need to punch the ballot or you could just walk in and be like, all right, put me down for my man? <laughs> Bitch, you know what the f this is. All right. <laughs> I like the dude. I voted, but it, it, I voted for him. But in some ways, he's like America's rebound boyfriend. You know what I mean? Like, we just want to be able to call George Bush and be like, yeah, we're someone else now, George. And get this, he listens to us. And he doesn't just attack people for no reason. And oh yeah, did I mention he's black? Click. <laughs> yeah. You know, the other thing is he gets blamed for a lot of stuff, but I feel like 70% of the stuff he gets blamed for is Bush's fault. Yeah. Yeah. It's sad, because it's just another case of a brother being in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> getting accused of some stuff he didn't do. America's like, freeze, put your hands against the White House. Like, it was George Bush and Dick Cheney. They just left. <laughs> you 
Yeah. And they, they sometimes they, I follow the administration pretty closely, and they say, like, you know, he's too insulated against his critics. Uh, and then, but he, so he relies on Sasha and Malia and Michelle to keep him humble. But he, that might keep him humble, but you know what would keep him really humble? Is if Sasha and Malia were white. Because they're like 12 and 14, they're sweet girls, but if they were white, there are, there's no one meaner on earth than 12 and 14 year old white girls. They're like the meanest little bitches on the planet. Because now he comes home and he's like, Sasha, Malia, study hard, get no good school. And they're like, yes, yes, daddy, we love you. But if they were white, he'd come home and be like, Sasha, Malia, study hard, get no good college. He'd be like, for what? You ruined the economy. There's not going to be jobs when we get out, you jackass. <laughs> we're going to Cancun. Hopefully you won't wreck America while we're gone, dumbass. <laughs> oh, look, Sasha, it's daddy's birth certificate. Psych, you don't have one, foreigner. <laughs> Like I said, I like the dude, voted for him. Gonna vote for him again, but I gotta say, yeah, I, I'm in this, yeah, in some, in some ways, the, the expectations were so high that I haven't been this disappointed in a president since all of the other presidents. <laughs> but with Obama, the thing is I gave him money. That's what hurt. Like I believed in the dude so much that I donated to his campaign. Obama was basically the stripper that I was like, no fellas. This one really likes me. <laughs> Want some hope, hope, hope? Hey, baby, you need some change? Hey. Hope, 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 hope. <laughs> he killed Bin Laden. That was something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then they got mad at Barack because he didn't release the photos. But again, Brock's a nerd, man. President Urkel. <laughs> but America's so bloodthirsty, they would've been happy unless Barack came out with like a teardrop tattoo and was like, yo, this Bin Laden stuff, done, son. He's black, you get it? <laughs> Does black stuff. <laughs> so Obama, uh, black dude, of course, and I've worked with black dudes before, on Chappelle Show, of course, which I was the, if you're just tuning. The reason all these people are applauding is because I, uh, I co-created Chappelle Show. And, uh, and it kind of scrambled my brain because now I think of everything in racial terms. And, uh, and I still think of like, racial sketches, because we used to do the best racial sketches on Chappelle Show. We did like the blind white supremacists, we did the bloopers from Roots. And I, and I, I still think of these crazy ass racial sketches and I got nowhere to go with them, but I thought of one recently that I'll pitch to you guys if you want to hear it. Yeah. All right. All right, but don't be babies, all right? Because because this is racial, all right. <laughs> I wish we could have done a sketch about how scared white people must have been on the last day of slavery. Because <laughs> it was a real day. <laughs> it's January 30th, 1865, so like what do white people do that day? Like, can I see all the slaves in the front place? <laughs> Well, we had a heck of a run, didn't we? <laughs> I just want to say you guys did a fantastic job <laughs> with the chores <laughs> these last 250 years. <laughs> You'll be free tomorrow. Please don't murder us. <laughs> Violence doesn't solve anything. Oh, really? What all the times you're whipping us? Touche, Toby. <laughs> Touche. Now, if you guys wouldn't mind clearing out your stuff, the Mexican should be here any minute to replace it. <laughs> All right, thank you guys very much. It was fantastic. Good night.